All right, guys, let's do just a quick recap of what we talked about in class today. And today we talked about the four quadrants of the coordinate plane. Um, so we're going to fill in some things about the quadrants. Um, let's start by, it says, buff, using the X and Y axis, which we know um, X is our horizontal and the Y is our vertical, we have broken the coordinate plane into what is called four quadrants. So each of these sections is called a quadrant. Um, so they're labeled as followed. Um, we always start in the positive positive quadrant and we label that with quadrant one. Now we know that our um, quadrants are labeled with Roman numerals. So once you start in quadrant one, then you just go counterclockwise. So this is quadrant one, um, quadrant two, oops, quadrant three, and then we'll keep going around quadrant four. Okay, so let's dive in a little deeper. Quadrant one, or the first quadrant, is where both of the coordinates are positive. So a couple of examples of coordinates that would fall into the first quadrant would be six, positive six, two, positive eight, okay? In the second quadrant, second quadrant is where we have an x value that is negative, so our x is negative, and our y is positive. So a couple of examples might look like negative nine, positive three, negative five, positive eight. If we graph those, we would have like negative five, positive eight. See, we'd be right here in the second quadrant. Um, then our third quadrant is where both coordinates in the ordered pair are negative. So both our X and our Y are negative. We have like a negative three, negative five. If we come over here and graph it, we have negative three, negative five. We fall down here in the third quadrant. Another example, negative nine, negative one. Both coordinates are negative. Um, and then in our fourth quadrant, fourth quadrant is where our X is positive and our Y is negative. So for an example, positive five, negative two. If we were to graph it, we would have, we would uh, positive five, negative two, we would be down here in the fourth quadrant. Another example might be positive seven, negative nine. 